हेलो अमेचीज़ वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन टू डेज वीडियो वी गोना डिस्कस अबाउट द बो पोस बो पोस इज़ अ हार्ट ओपनिंग एंड इनविगोरेटिंग पॉस्चर दैट कम्बाइंस फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी स्ट्रेंथ एंड इनर करेज इन संस्कृत इट इज़ नोन एज धनुर आसन बिकॉज दिस डायनामिक पोज रिजेंबल्स द शेप ऑफ बो विच इज़ नोन एज धनुर इन संस्कृत इट सिम्बलाइज योर रेडीनेस एंड रिलीज टेंशन and experience profound transformation if you do not have much time for working out or anything and you can only take out 10 to 15 minutes to practice then this is the one pose that you should practice it is a back bending pose that offers numerous benefits to your body and your mind so without any further ado let's begin At first we gonna discuss about the steps which are involved while performing the bow pose. Lie down on your stomach with your feet hip width apart and your arms along the side of your body. Bend your knees and bring your feet close to your hips keeping them hip width apart. Reach back with your hands and hold your feet or ankles. One hand holding your ankle or feet inhale deeply and as you exhale lift your chest off the ground and kick back your legs backward raising your thighs and shins of the ground keep your head and neck relaxed and focus your gaze forward try to maintain the pose while keeping your breath slow and steady Hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds and gradually increase the duration as you build strength and flexibility. To release, exhale and slowly bring your legs and your chest back to the ground, arms by your side. Bring your whole body in the starting position. Relax for a while and repeat the same for 7 to 8 times to get the proper benefits of this pose. These are all the steps which are involved while practicing the bow pose or dhanura asan now let's talk about its benefit it helps in stretching the front of the body dhanura asan helps in stretching the chest abdomen hip flexor thighs and your arms promoting flexibility and releasing tension from these areas it helps in strengthening the back muscles including erector spinae which helps in improving the posture and relieving back pain it stimulates the digestive organ the compression of the abdomen in the dhanura asan helps in stimulating the digestive organ which helps in improving digestion and bowel movements people suffering from constipation should practice this pose as the compression on the abdomen man relieves the constipation and helps in improvement of the bowel movements men suffering from erectile dysfunction should practice this pose as this pose helps in strengthening the prostate gland and, and regular practice of this pose for 90 days to 120 days can cure their erectile dysfunction it helps in opening the shoulder sir dhanura asan helps in opening the shoulder and chest counteracting the effects of houching and slouching which are common in modern lifestyles it helps in enhancing the blood circulation this pose improves blood flow throughout the body providing oxygen and nutrients to various organs and tissues it helps in boosting energy and reduces fatigue dhanura asan is invigorating posture which improves blood flow stimulates nervous system boost energy levels and reduces fatigue it helps in promoting mental health regular practice of dhanura asan calms the mind and relieves stress and promotes relaxation which helps in improving the mental health so these are the benefits of practicing the dhanura asan now let's talk about the contraindication of practicing this pose people who are suffering from any back or neck injury should avoid this pose people who have herniated disc should avoid this pose 
people who had hernia repair or any abdominal related surgery should avoid this pose people suffering from hypertension or hypotension should avoid this pose hypertension is the condition where your blood pressure is high and hypotension is the condition where your blood pressure is low so if you fall into any of these categories you should avoid practicing this pose pregnant women should avoid this pose especially in second and third trimester people who are suffering from insomnia or sleep disorder should avoid this pose at this pose boost energy in the body and it is not suitable for them so these are all the contraindications which comes out with this pose so this is the in depth knowledge of how to practice the pose pose regarding its steps its benefits and its contraindications i will be bringing more yoga tutorials like this so make sure you watch my videos daily take your notes from these videos share the knowledge with your amichis and if you watch my videos regularly within 6 months you, you will get in depth knowledge about a lot of yoga poses a lot of yoga sequences and much more so i'll keep bringing more yoga videos for you people make sure you support me and watch my videos regularly so that is all for today amichis i hope you people enjoyed this video i will meet you in the next video until then thank you and namaste